I'm here with Grant Trick. Grant, tell us where we are, what we're doing, and what we're gonna see today. Well, we're glad to have you here. We're in my workroom here in uh, Birmingham, Alabama. We are gonna give you a little behind the scenes look at uh, where we make all of the interesting furniture that comes through. We work with architects and designers from all over the country and make pretty much any kind of custom upholstered piece they can imagine. So sofas, beds, sectionals, chairs, cabinets at times, all the things that involve fabric and wood. It's all custom, so even the running line is made to order and it's made in pretty much any size you want. And then, yes, everything else, the bulk of our business is all custom, so we, we reinvent the wheel on a daily basis. So it'll generally start with an inspiration image, a drawing, something torn out of a magazine, a napkin sketch, what have you. Then the clock starts ticking towards, you know, D-Day, which is um, or your, your deadline. And um, so we actually provide our clients generally with shop drawings based off the information they give us. We have a design review meeting. We discuss all of the fine details. Um, and that's where that we really start to talk about the feelings and how is the customer going to live and you know, does it make sense to have all down cushions or should we go, you know, add some foam because they have kids or dogs or things like that. We want to make it look right, but we also want to make it perform for years to come. So from that point, we then start our spec to start production. From there, we'll take the drawings for approval, design a frame to build up to become that sofa or chair or whatever it is. And then it makes its way to the workroom and this is sort of where this is the icing on the cake, really. So a lot, as much work goes into the first part of the process as the actual upholstering, cutting, and sewing. Frames come in here, they're sprung up. Um, all of the cutting and sewing, cushion inserts, inside upholstery, outside upholstery, and it's um, out the door. What makes custom furniture so special? Everything. No, it's, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's sort of a lost art, right? So it's not as common as it used to be, and it's something you really have to be, you have to be in love with to want to do it because it's not easy. There's no roadmap, there's no how-to, there's nothing is standard. So everything is made to the designer spec or to the customer's desires, or you know, we're, we're addressing everything from the aesthetics to feelings to comfort to quality. And um, there's just so many layers of craftsmanship, of design, of thought, of, of, of complicated processes and nuances and things like that that you have to capture to really to be successful at it. <laughs> 